Let's bloody hide, hide. Gulliga National Park. That damn food it needs to be. Righto, so we're back from the Simpson and this is a little bit of a, not a complete shakedown video, but basically some things that I wanted to change on the truck, some things that while traveling, I wasn't really happy with the way they were set up. For the most part, most of the truck has been really awesome. It's been really good, but there was just a couple of things that were giving me the shits and, and they, would, they took too long to set up. So I made some changes and I'm gonna show you what the changes are here now. So as you all know, I had a shower tent on the side of my previous Box tent. Then I mounted it to the roof rack before the trip. Um, I'll show you a couple of snippets now of when I did have that mounted to the side of the vehicle. So it's a quick pit shower. It's inside the metal case. That's how I had it. Um, you can get them in a metal case or a, a canvas uh, bag. Um, and since they were brought out, there's friggin' like 10 on the market now, all different brands you can get um, for the shower tents. So, but I still, as convenient as that was, I still wasn't happy with that setup. I wasn't happy with how long it took to set the shower up and stuff. I want it to be faster, more convenient, and I think I've come up with the answer. Okay, so on the trip to the Simpson, I did have it mounted up here on the side of the, uh, Yakima platform. Uh, so I had the metal case mounted up there, could flip that up, but it's just, <laughs> the truck is huge. Like I'm driving an F-250. So it's still too high to get up. I had to open the door to pop it up. And even with most other people, having a shower there against your doors, if you've got to get into your car for anything to grab something, it's kind of a bit of a pain in the neck if you just want to leave it set up. And there was a few days there in Alice where I did want to leave it set up um, but it was just a pain to jump into the car and grab it in the gout because there was obviously a shower tent in the way. So I took it off and I sat there when I was in Alice for literally probably, ask the boys, I was sitting there for probably two hours just sitting out the side of my canopy trying to figure it out and I figured it out. So I'm going to show you this now. So I'll open the door. So originally I had it on the other tent, the other Bush Company tent on custom brackets. So this is what I've come up with. So... I ripped it out of the existing box, or if you've got a canvas bag, you can do this too. So I'm going to show you now, I'm going to set it up. I did buy a new hot water system. I did have the other companion, I have bought this one now. Um, I had the geyser, but it just took too long to, to heat up and stuff. And um, yeah, I actually took two showers on the Alice, on the Simpson trip, sorry. So I took uh, my other older one to this, which my brother just bought off me. Um, and I took the geyser, which I had in this bottom down here. So I used both showers and honestly, I prefer this over the geyser um, just for its simplicity and um, ease of use and, and how fast it can get just water hot straight away. So. so back to the shower tent and also shameless plug, F-Tech hoodies are available now online, ftech.com.au. Everything's in the description. So I've got two Dashi poles that I roll up with this. So normally this is mounted in, this, um, the framework of the shower is mounted inside of one of the boxes or the canvas bags and then you bolt it to the side of your roof rack. That's where most people are going to put it. So I can roll them up in that with the straps. So I have my poles if I ever need to use them. Shower falls down and it still opens the same way. So this comes out like this, this pops out, pull this bottom corner out, and now we have a set up shower. So I like it like this. This is what I was trying to achieve and I just couldn't figure out how to do it. But now I have the shower underneath the canopy door. I have my light up here, which I can turn on. So I have light in the shower, the ensuite area. So then when you do come into the shower, if you do want complete privacy or whatever, you can have it under the zipper. Um, this 
folds down here. I can pull out a little tray, you can pull out my tray here. Have my soap and stuff just sitting there on the tray. Shower head, this is what I've got for making sure. It's just a bit of a propeller plate and a, one of the shower head things from Bunnings, plastic one. And this is just felt and that just clips onto the side there. Grab the shower head, sits in there like that. So I got my shower head, I got my light, got my hot water unit. Everything's where I need it to go. I've got my floor grid here. I haven't put it down on the floor, but got a plastic floor grid there as well. Got my other little bag up here. It's just stored up there on the shelf. So in this bag, I've just got the charger for the shower, which whenever it goes flat, I can see from here. So basically all I do is I get the, um, the stainless bucket, put it there beside me, fill it up the back of the tap on the truck. You could permanently plug this in if you wanted to, but I, um, I don't like plumbing into my water source and being able to have a shower for days. I just like to know how much eight inches of water in a bucket should be plenty for a shower. That way you can control your water supply. But yeah, chuck this in the bucket just here beside you. There you go. Turn on your, turn on your hot water unit. You can adjust your temperature right here. Got all your soaps right here. Shower head, light, your over cover. In case it is raining or whatever outside. So, yeah, I um, <laughs> I yeah, finally uh, figured out this bloody shower situation, and I guess it took me to to go away and to really think about it. And yeah, with the extrusions in the mitts canopy, it, it works perfect having those um those brackets in there. So, still am tweaking it. I think I might cut these brackets off and trim them up, cut the back sides off. There's just some Bush Company brackets I had laying around the house, but you could put some right angle brackets. So you could essentially take your shower tent out of your bag. If you do have an extrusion or you want to weld an extrusion in your aluminium canopy you might have, do that. Get two right angle brackets, pot rivet it or bolt it in. I've just pot riveted it. It's, it's strong enough. Um, don't need bolts in this because it's not. It's always rigid when it's always in one one piece. So yeah, and it was pot riveted into the, into the box anyway that it originally come in. So, But you could do this exact setup with your cheap your cheap King's um, shower tent or what other brand you have. I think 23.0 have a shower tent now and Chaos Gear, I think, have a shower tent. So this is the quick pitch shower tent. Um, but yeah, I uh, figured it out. So I'm pretty freaking stoked, actually. That's why I wanted to show you guys how stoked I am with it. But, and then when, you, when you're done, Simply, uh, I'm just going to get some um, Velcro so I can coil this up and just um, pot rivet it to this, a little strap or something, so I can have that coiled up just there. But when you're done, I'm going to push the tray, push the tray back in, zip this up, turn me shower off. I'm going to put the little, that can hook directly under there, so that's always where I want it to be. Um, yeah, pretty much just fold it up. Just like that. That just rolls up like that. Grab the two poles. If I ever needed to use them, they're always there coiled up. You get the strap, stick that through there. This strap. So as you can see the extrusion up there in the roof. So I bolted those right angle brackets. So they're long and stuff. I only did this the other night, so I could probably trim them the back side off. But I left it on there in case I wanted to mount anything else to that bracket. So yeah, and I've still got plenty of room in me me canopy and everything and it just it's way tidier way neater it's hidden now i don't have that shower tent over there see before when i had to get the shower out i had to put it on a table beside the ute here i had to open the friggin thing i couldn't get into the car and now it's um now it's perfect so got the light and everything so I don't know if someone's already come up with this idea, so, <laughs> but um, well, I haven't seen it on YouTube or seen it anywhere else. So yeah, again, that's another part of uh, design and I build it 
and now we can go explore again. So, guys, merchandise is online, www.ftac.com.au. Everything's in the description. Jump over there. The uh, launch hoodies, this one that I'm wearing now, I've been wearing this for freaking four days, and it is so freaking warm. It is so good. Probably one of the best quality hoodies that I've uh, actually got in a long time. So, and I know everyone says that about their own stuff, but I would like good gear and you guys know I like good gear and this hoodie is warm it's not thin material so shower tent righto catch you later see you in the next video Hooroo.